What's up, y'all? It's your girl Katie, and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> We're here again. <laughs> it has been like five videos since I have been in this car. I mean, no, it's been five videos in this car. I don't know. I don't know. Just all the video ideas that I'm happening to come up with happen to be in the car. So. This is my new house, whereas the past videos I filmed in the car could have taken place at home. This one has to take place in the car because today, ladies and gentlemen, we are filming a drive with me. The all so remembered drive with me's that I used to do all the time and now I barely ever do, but I'm trying to do them, but I just never get to it. Anyways, I'm here today and we're gonna do a drive with me. I planned out some things I need to do today. I need to stop by a few places. Um, it's gonna be a great time. It's gonna be great. And today is actually really gloomy in LA, or it has been gloomy, so you know my camera's not gonna overheat on the dashboard. So, I mean, it just works out. Today was the day. Oh. oh, does anybody else just love smelling good? I just have to spray this all the time. All right, what's happening, everyone? I am going to, <laughs> first things first. First things first, I'm gonna head on over, what was I gonna do? Oh, I wanted to get a smoothie because I'm hungry and I haven't ate and I've been wanting a smoothie. So we're gonna go get a smoothie so I can have a little something to sip on throughout this drive with me. Um, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I actually have never like been to a, yeah, I'm missing a nail. We already know, okay? I actually have never been to like a smoothie place in LA, so I don't know where to go. I'm just gonna use the Google. Okay, there's a place called Planet Smoothie that is just a block, not a block, a few miles down. We're gonna do that. I've never been to a Planet Smoothie, have I? I don't think I have. It's a chain though, right? Like, I feel like I've heard it before. I just typed in Planet Chain. La -da -da -da. Get in a smoothie for breakfast because I'm a healthy queen over here. What? Hello? All right. <coughs> Fart! I hate when this happens. It's been so humid in LA lately that I turn on the AC for one second and my windows fog up and then it never unfogs. I don't even know, so it always happens when I'm driving at night. Recently it's been happening in the day because it's just been humid for no reason. I'll be driving at night and I won't be able to see anything and I'll have to use the windshield wipers every 0.2 seconds because that's the only way I can clear the windows. Like, I don't know if I'm just stupid, I really I really might just be stupid. I try everything and it just does not work The only thing I've come up with is having to roll the windows down or just completely cut off the AC And at that point I'm like suffocating because it's so hot. Um, yeah, it's it's starting to get a little toasty in here Maybe if I just turn it on like low, it's not gonna do the whole windows. I Don't know at this point I don't know. I just would like a nice, cold, refreshing smoothie in this time of heat. A lot of you guys are asking me if I can like smell all the fires going on and stuff. And it's so sad to think about that. So I don't even want to like bring down the subject by talking about this, which it is an important subject to talk about. I mean, California and like Oregon are literally on fire. Where I live, it's just been like really hazy. Like it's not orange here. I'm not smelling anything. Um, but you know, I am pretty in Southern California. So that might be why, but why are we driving? Why? Why? I will never understand why people turn corners at the pace of a snail, but that's just me nitpicking on all these crazy LA drivers. Honestly though, I think I came to LA prepared to drive because back in Northern Virginia, the drivers are just as crazy. If not, I wanna say more. I grew up driving there or I learned driving there, so I came here well prepared. I wish if I did not delete it, I would pull all my dash cam videos so you guys could see just the amount of situations I've been in where there's just psychopath drivers for no reason. I so badly want to film like an updated music playlist video because when I tell you guys, and I've talked about this I think in my last ride with me honestly, my music taste so different. Honestly, I'm really into like, okay, so I've always been into alternative, but now it's like all alternative I am in absolute love with. And then like alternative rock. Oh, 
Oh, don't even get me started. I have a whole playlist for like alternative rock, rock music. And I swear to you, I play it maybe five times a day because it just gets me so pumped. It's my favorite playlist. I think my most valued playlist. Wait, where is this place? Am I gonna have to street park? If I have to street park, I really, um, it's not what I want to do. It seems like, yeah, it's right there. Well, guys, looks like we're not getting a smoothie anymore because that's not happening. I'm gonna have to cross the street. There's people eating, and that right there is prime social anxiety. Um, next place, I'm going to go to H Mart. <laughs> because I've just been really wanting to go to an Asian supermarket as of late and I have been to many within this month but I appear to be out of everything that I have got so yeah we're gonna go there and I'm gonna get some goody good goods because I love the Asian supermarket H Mart is my top favorite store I love it I could live in that store um I could live off of that store. Mm, what to talk about? What to talk about? I can't believe this corona is still going on. It really makes me think, you know, who would have thought? Like, we're we're over here quarantining and we're gonna be like, okay, it's gonna be a month or two months or three months. We're in September. Eh, it's weird. Because if we would have, like, saw this on TV, I feel like, like a Simpsons episode where people were, like, having to wear masks for the rest of their lives. Oh, I got a nosebleed this morning for no reason and usually that happens when like the weather is really dry I usually get nosebleeds all the time back home, but like it's so humid Yeah, I don't know. I was doing my makeup and all of a sudden I'm like, okay My nose is running which usually it runs when I do my makeup because the powder I don't know it reacts something but blood started coming out and I was like, okay Stuck a tissue up there and just continued on with my day, you know? We're good now. I was just like thinking about it because my mouth tastes weird. Anyways, I don't want to make this whole video Corona, but back on Corona for a quick second, it kind of makes me like wish that someone did tell me it would be here this long so I could have made like a Corona resolution. Like I could have went into quarantine with a goal and then came out or like with something new I wanted to learn or so, and I guess it's not too late for all of that like I could still learn something but you know just to like work on all of quarantine and by the time quarantine was done I'd be like a pro master at it or hope to be something I have started however is watching a new movie every night I try to watch a new movie or a new film every night that I haven't seen so I'm on like night six or seven of that a few movies I watched Nightcrawler that one was really good I watched mud yesterday which it was okay the ending like the ending i would say was a good ending i watched the eternal ray of sunshine question mark yeah i watched that it honestly took me three days to finish because i was so confused with what the was going on the whole movie i was like okay first of all well actually i'm not going to spoil anything for anybody that wants to see it because i was seeing all these things people saying this is a movie to watch so i go into it with high hopes i come out of it and i'm like what did i what did I just witness? You know, like what was that? I, I just had so many questions, but luckily a friend of mine uh, had seen the movie and he like knows all about films and stuff. He gave me the full rundown. Like I was in English class and we just watched this movie and he was a teacher that was like telling us about symbolism and stuff. Like the full on rundown, right? And my eyes just, I just understood. I feel like I should watch it again though. Now that I know what's happening, I should watch it again and then like understand completely. So yeah, that's one thing I've been doing that I picked up trying to watch a new movie. That's not like an exercise or learning something. I literally just sit on my ass at night and just stay up an extra hour or two than I usually would. So it's not much effort being put into this, but if you guys happen to have any films or movies that you really love and connect with, like some deep symbolic movies, Send it my way. Hello everyone. So I was on the bumpiest road of all eternity coming into this place, but I'm at H Mart. I'm in the parking lot and I'm ready to go get myself some goody good goods. I'm gonna do that. Who knows how long I'll be in there. It varies. It really does vary. I'm gonna get some goods and I'll be back. Hello everyone. I'm back from H Mart. I actually tried to make it really quick because I just went to Trader Joe's the other day. So I was like, you don't want too much food, Katie. You already have a lot. So I got a few things. Um, I'm just gonna show you. H Mart haul. I'm just gonna show you. So, okay. 
I've been trying to eat really healthy and I only wanted to get healthy things until I saw these. This is Haichu, which I absolutely love. Shout out Alexis if you're watching this. Um, but this is yogurt mix and I've never seen yogurt mix before. Should we try one? Strawberry. <gasps> oh my god. You guys. Wow. Also, I got a green tea, and then I got a matcha latte, and then a coffee latte. I believe I drank one of these in my past videos, and you guys were asking me where I got it. And I got it from H Mart. Oh. Oh my god, it's... I'm really excited. This store gives me like a rush of adrenaline. I also got these two candies. This one's really good. It's like a gummy, um, but this is assortment, so it has lychee and mango and strawberry. Oh. Mm. All right, let's go home. This is my receipt for H Mart. I don't know if you need it. Yeah, I need to get it validated, but. Okay, next time. Okay. Next time? Don't prove it. Okay, I remember. <laughs> oh. Wait, did this kind of really glue me out? I'm just gonna, yep. Yeah. This yogurt one, I feel like, is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life. Like, oh, this is blueberry yogurt. at H Mart, they were selling those Korean corn dogs with like the potato on the outside and the mozzarella on the inside. Oh my God, was I tempted. But I didn't get the corn dogs. Hopefully they're there next time. They're like never there. But I was just thinking like they'd be so good if I just tossed them in my air fryer. Air fryer. That's what I wanted to talk about. If you guys have me on Snapchat, I post all my air fryer recipes that I have either accumulated or gotten or made up. I don't know. I post all of them on there because I cook in the air fryer multiple times a day. The air fryer is the most perfect invention I have ever laid my hands on. I don't think I've ever bought something that I have used so much. And it wasn't even one of the most like expensive ones. I think it was around $80 the one I have that I got from Amazon. I kid you not, I cook everything i make broccoli in there like five times a day because i never eat broccoli but the way i make it in the air fryer it's like crispy oh it's perfect it's perfect broccoli i make kale chips in there who eats kale chips when have i ever eaten a kale chip i'm very proud of myself i feel like the air fryer has been helping my healthy eating i have made unhealthy things in there as well like mozzarella sticks chicken nuggets french fries i make french fries in there all the time like i cut the potatoes into everything and i make donuts out of biscuits you just literally poke a hole in the Philsbury flaky biscuits pop them in the air fryer flip it after seven minutes so you would think it tastes like just a biscuit no I don't know how the air fryer maneuvers its way into there but it makes it taste like a donut and then when you're done you can either put your own little homemade glaze on there or you can dip it in sugar and cinnamon bam I would make so many air fryer YouTube videos if like I felt people would actually enjoy them. Endless possibilities in that thing, you guys. I could go on talking about the air fryer for many, many, many minutes. Yeah, so air fryer fun times. Went to H Mart. Um, I've been slacking on my videos as of late and I feel so horrible. Well, not slacking necessarily, but kind of like, like a brain dead moment of not knowing what to film all the time. So like I kind of wasn't gonna film and drive with me today just because my past four videos were in the car, but I'm gonna do a vlog tomorrow um so that should be fun i haven't done one of those in a minute i don't know my youtube videos kind of just miraculously come into my mind oh god oh my god i'm sorry i'm in like this huge predicament right now and it's been stressing me the f out i'm gonna play some music to de-stress i apologize in advance guys because i'm gonna have to bleep out the sound or put some copyright over it just to avoid copyright but i just need it okay I feel like I can do anything. Whoa! You know what? It is really foggy out because I just saw the sun and thought it was the moon. All right, crew. What it do, baby boo? So, guys, I'm at my humble abode. Is that the right? 
the right word? I had a great time. 10 out of 10. I am going to go upstairs, indulge on my three packages of candy while editing this video for the rest of the day. And those are my plans. So this was a fun break, a fun time. I love talking to you guys in my drive with me. I wish I was on like a smooth pavement the whole entire ride, but we are in LA after all. So yeah. Thank you for coming today and watching my wonderful drive with me. I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please smash that thumbs up button and subscribe down below. And don't forget to press that notification bell to get notified every time I upload and to become part of the notification squad. Hashtag Rose Gang. So that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, coming in. Yeah. Flex. I just wanna win, yeah LA BB who we running with, yeah 2-2-3-3, I'm on 10 again